Hi there. Ever wondered if you need a build and release engineer in your organization? Or you might be just wondering what is a build and release engineer? Let's visit a company called Software Incorporated. Software Incorporated is growing. All the employees work hard and make great applications. However, as the organization grows, they hire more developers. There is more source code to handle. New releases go out to the users every day. Soon, things start to get chaotic. With the company's current systems, there's no efficient way to track bugs in various versions of applications. Team members get confused about which version of the product went out to the market. Morale starts to drop. Development teams are unsure of the production status of an application. The software development pipelines get clogged. Releases get delayed. Management realizes they need to take charge of the situation. They need someone to manage the build and release pipelines. So, they hire John, a build release engineer. John takes a more systematic approach to developing and releasing software builds. He makes sure all the source codes are put under the supervision of version control applications, like Git, SVN, or Perforce. He documents the policies for code branching and merging. He sets up build automation servers like Jenkins or CircleCI for continuous integration and continuous delivery. John starts to use binary repository managers like JFrog's Artifactory to store the application artifacts for better access and audit trails. He sets up bug tracking and knowledge sharing tools like Jira and Confluence so team members from development, QA, and operations can collaborate easily. He uses monitoring tools like Nagios to make sure the servers and applications supporting the build pipeline are running smoothly. Every time John finds a manual build process, he tries to automate it using scripting and automation tools like Gradle or Maven. Things start to improve at Software Incorporated. Now everyone has a better understanding of the software development pipelines. The product teams have more confidence in what they create. They can better track the progress of their application development. So, John's role as a build and release engineer has improved the organization's processes and created a better work environment. Do you think a build and release engineer can help your organization? Leave your comments below.